Okay, we're back in the garden fighting jerk pests that want to destroy our vegetable plants that we've worked so hard to grow. We've got these little green silkworm looking things. I don't know exactly what they're called. We're going to find out and put it in the video here. But they're little green gross squishy worms and they like to fold leaves in half and make webs between them. And they are starting to wreak havoc on some tomato plants as well as our um, eggplants, the Japanese eggplants. Not cool. So we're going to use some neem oil that we've got here. Check this stuff out. Bring that on in. End all. And as you can see, this is the safer brand up top, right? So uh, you can't go wrong if it says that it's the safer brand by name. So uh, this, this does say, if you look down here, it is good for organic gardening, uh, kills a whole bunch of different types of insects and their eggs. Um, this is the kind of thing that we definitely want to get out of the plants. Now, if you use a product like this, this neem oil type stuff, um, read the instructions carefully. All right, Despite the fact that it's good for organic gardening, it doesn't mean that it's, you should sit there spraying it all over yourself or any of that kind of stuff or using it like bug spray or just spraying it all up in the air around your plants. You want to apply, like this one says, 12 to 8 inches from the plant itself, um, but avoid spraying it on the flowers, okay? The bees are going to go there, and we don't want to hurt the bees the next day. You want to apply it in the evening, right at dusk, and that's about what time it is now, to make sure that bees aren't out doing their thing, it's going to have time to settle overnight, and the instructions also say to make sure you've got about 24 hours of non-projected rain. We're in Florida in the summertime, mid-Florida, that's about impossible to predict. So we're going to do our best, spray this stuff 12 to 18 inches away, evenly across the plant, avoid those flowers. Again, we're only having troubles with the tomatoes right behind me here, and the eggplant. And the eggplant right over there. They're doing okay. This one right here behind me is okay. The other one, I, I got a lot of the bugs off, and they are dis. Disgusting. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, turns out masks are not just for COVID-19. So we, uh, we're we going to go ahead and put this thing on and apply this stuff. It, of course, there's all the usual warnings. Don't breathe it in. Don't get it in your eyes or on your skin. Common sense stuff, right? Uh, my wife did urge me to put on long sleeves and gloves. Um, and I did adhere to the mask, but uh, let's just get this done. Okay. So before we get started here, you can kind of hear my muffled mask voice. This is one of our Roma tomato plants, and look at this. Oh, it just irks me. We get in close here, you can see where they've folded the leaves over. They've used this nasty webbing. I've pulled a bunch of them out and squashed them already, but they have just wreaked havoc on this plant. They've started to over here, but luckily they haven't made it quite as far on this one yet. And coming on over to the eggplant, this one's pretty good, but coming on down here, you can see where they started getting some holes and stuff. This one, I actually got this one out of here. It ate a bunch of the leaf and had the leaf folded over. This one has left largely unscathed. You see we had one in here. Look at that webbing. We got a uh, ant up there right now. But then this plant has had a few leaves die. They're getting folded over. They're attacking this one a little harder. So we want to get these leaves. We want to avoid, let's see, yeah, see, look at that. Oh my gosh, okay. We want to get these leaves, try our best to avoid our flowers. We want the bees to do their job. Let's get this thing going. So at about 12 to eight inches away, we're gonna go ahead and spray the stuff on the leaves, trying to avoid We're really not going to avoid a whole lot of flowers here. But we don't have a lot of flowers happening because they seem to have died off with the uh, presence of these bugs. Let's kind of spray over here because we do have some flowers down there that we don't want to get it on. Just going to kind of get in a little closer here to get a couple of these leaves. without getting our uh, our veggies. All right, for the tomatoes, we've got a few flowers right up top. All right, 
cherry tomatoes have been mostly unscathed but not completely unscathed if we get in there look at that yeah they're just not being nice okay again we're using some of this neem oil called endol it is good for organic gardening which we're doing the best we can to grow organic and uh, when you're dealing with pests, there's not a lot you can do. We can painstakingly pick every single caterpillar off and squash it. But at the end of the, end of the day, we're going to need something to give us a boost. Here's to hoping that safer brands not only gets rid of our pests, but keeps our fruits and veggies uh, healthy out here. We'll share the results as we see them crossing our fingers. Okay, so it's been about 24 hours since we put the safer brand Endol neem oil on our tomato plants and the eggplant. And we did get rained out in the middle of the day, just like I thought we would. You really can't avoid the rain in Central Florida on any given day. It is what it is. However, I think we have met with success. Crossing my fingers. Uh, so far, the eggplants look beautiful. There are no more of those nasty green caterpillars showing up anywhere on them. I've seen no more leaves folded over with silk webbing holding them together. Uh, the tomatoes, I found a few more today. However, only one was green. All the others appeared to be yellowish and dried up and dead. So I think we met with success. Again, this is the Safer brand Endol. Looks like I'm getting rained out. Hope this was helpful. And if you guys are looking for a great organic friendly neem oil product to help kill pests on your plants, check this stuff out. Pretty good stuff. I can say that I'm happy. And so are the plants.